Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at problems involving cube roots. If you've completed the previous video, Intro to Cube Roots, today's lesson will be a lot easier on you. So example one, a rectangular prism has a base of 4s by 5s, and if the height is, four, is 7s and the volume is 1120 centimeters cubed, what is the value of s? So we have volume equals length with height for rectangular prism. L is 4s, width is 5s, height is 7s, and volume 1120. So we plug in what we know into our equation, so our volume 4, 5, and 7 like that, which gives 140 s cubed. We want s cubed on its own, so we divide by 140 both sides, s cubed equals 8. We want to get rid of the cube, so we cube root both sides, and so s equals 2 like that. Uh, there you go. Good. So the value of S is 2. Example 2. Here we have a rectangular prism and we have a hole inside this rectangular prism. And so the volume of the shaded area, which is the area, the volume around the hole, the volume is 1458 meters cubed. The question, what is the value of C? So we have 3C, 5C, 6C, 2C, 3C, 6C, like that. So volume is 3, 5, 6, minus 2, 3, 6, like that. So we get 90C cubed minus 36C cubed, which gives 54C cubed. And so 54C cubed is equal to 1458. Divide by 54 on both sides, C cubed equals 27 cube root both sides to isolate for C, and C is 3. So the value of C is 3. Example 3. The volume of a sphere is 36 pi centimeters cubed. What is the radius? So the equation for volume of a sphere is given, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we have that here. V is 36 pi, so we plug that in. Now we want r on its own, so this comes in handy if you've completed the fraction videos. We're going to go times 3 both sides to get rid of this 3, divide 4 on both sides to get rid of this 4, and divide pi on both sides to get rid of this pi. And so this is what we have on each side. So this cancels out and what's left is r cubed. And then this pi, these pi simplifies, 3 times 36 divided by 4 gives 27. And so we want r on its own, so we cube root both sides, and which gives r equals 3. So the radius is 3 centimeters. Okay, time for you guys to do some practice. Practice 1. A triangular prism has dimensions b, h, and l, 3u, 4u, 5u, respectively, with a volume of 10,290 centimeters cubed. What is the value of u? And so our volume equation is given here, half bh, base, times the length, like that. So go ahead and pause the video and find the value of u. Okay, we're back. So what do we have? v equals half bhl, bhl, plugged in like that, which gives 30 u, u cubed. So we want u cubed on its own, divide by 30 both sides, u cubed equals 343, cube root both sides, and we get u equals 7. So the value of u is 7. Okay, practice number 2. So the shaded section has a volume of 6804, so this is outer volume like that not the whole but just the outer volume the large triangular prism has a height of 5c base of 3c length of 7c the small triangular prism has a height of 3c base of 2c and a length of 7c what is the value of c so go ahead and pause the video and answer this question okay we're back so what do we got here? We know from the problem, I'm just going to write it out, HBL for the big big triangle, HBL for the smaller triangular prism. 
So the volume is the big triangular prism minus the small triangular prism because it's a hole. So we plug in our BHL, plug in our BHL, which gives 105 C cubed over 2 minus 42 C cubed over 2. And C cubed over 2 is like terms, so we can go 105 minus 42, which gives 63 C cubed over 2. We know the volume is 6804, so we plug that in. So 6804 equals 63 over 2 C cubed. So we're going to go times 2 to both sides to get rid of the 2, and divide by 63 to both sides to get rid of the 63. What's left is C cubed equals this which is 6804 times 2 divided by 63, and that gives 216. We now cube root both sides to get rid of the cube, and so the value of C is 6. Okay, practice number 3. The volume of a sphere is 972 pi centimeters cube. What is the radius? So volume is 4, pi, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So go ahead and find the radius. Okay, we're back. So volume 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Volume, plug it in, 972 pi. We want to get rid of this 4 pi over 3. So times 3 to both sides, divide by 4 to both sides, and divide by pi on both sides. So this gives r cubed on its own. This simplifies to 729. Cube root both sides, and the radius is 9 centimeters. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.